Hey friends, it's Sarah here. Today I am up on the Citrus Twist Kits blog sharing a traveler's notebook challenge. And my challenge for today is to do a flip up photo. So if you follow along on my YouTube page with some of my videos or my Instagram, um, I'm sure this type of layout is going to be no surprise to you. This is typically the kind of layout that I go for when I have two photos. Occasionally I will have the photos side by side or I'll use a full page photo or kind of a photo strip, but a lot of times I end up kind of doing the flip up photo because I really like adding layers to just one single photo. Um, something about kind of the way that the, the page balances out, it just, there's something about that that is really appealing to me. So. So that is what I'm going to do here today, and I will share how I um, kind of work this technique. First, I wanted to layer the vintage book page that came in the um, Pocket Life Kit kind of as my bottom layer. And when I first started putting this page together, um, it looked completely different. I had the vintage book page actually spanning the entire left side of my page, and then I had a piece of pattern paper on the right side, and it just looked a little bit too vintage. It ended up not looking at all like my style, and I really wasn't happy with it, so I decided to try to repurpose the book page, and so I pulled it up, and as you can imagine, it didn't pull up very neatly. Um, there were a lot of little holes and imperfections, and that was unfortunate, but I decided to still kind of tie it in here. Um, this whole spread is about me reading to my daughter, so it felt very appropriate. And so I ended up kind of folding it in half, and then I will end up covering up a lot of the imperfections by all of my layering. And I actually ended up adding a few too many layers on top of the book page. I covered up more than I had actually wanted to. Um, I just got a little bit carried away here, but that's okay. Um, I still really enjoy all of the layers and all of the little bits and pieces that I added. So, um, but just something to kind of keep in mind as you're adding your layers that um, if you have something on the bottom that you wanna make sure is seen, um, try to keep that in mind as you're kind of building up your layers that it doesn't kind of get lost in there. So a lot of the elements that I'm using on this page are from the Maggie Holmes Willow Lane collection and it was just perfect for documenting a lot of stories um, that involve my daughter. It's a very kind of girly and sweet collection and I loved all the different bits and pieces. I haven't used a lot of Maggie Holmes um, papers or embellishments in previous projects, but um, I really enjoyed kind of the challenge of using something new, and these ended up being really fun to work with. So you can see I'm just, um, I'm making my flip up photo here. I just adhered some washi tape on the inside and on the top there. Um, and basically I'm just adhering the tops of those two photos together so that the top one can flip up and show the bottom. I wanted to add some sort of a little tab underneath. I typically do this when I have a flip up um, just so I can remember to actually flip it up when I'm going through my notebook. Um, because they're a little bit flat against the page, I think the bottom photo can sometimes get lost, but having that little, um, that little tab or something at the bottom just kind of makes you want to um, pull up that layer. So now I'm trying to just figure out what I'm gonna do on the right-hand page. Um, I'm trying to select a pattern paper here. This is the six by eight um, pattern paper pad from the Maggie Holmes Willow Lane collection and I had a few that I was going between but I ended up going with that really pretty floral um, and because that floral is so busy you'll see that I end up not doing a lot to the right hand page I'm just gonna add some little enamel dots and call it done um, but I really like how that kind of played with all the layers on the left hand side I didn't want too much white space because all of the other pieces are looking very vintage and I felt like 
too much white would look a little bit too modern, if that makes sense. Um, it just, it didn't look quite right um, having too much negative space. So I wanted to find that balance, which was a little bit difficult for me because I typically go very minimal on my pages. Um, but I am happy with how this turned out and I think that I think that I did find that balance um, with the different papers and embellishments. So now I'm just trimming down my pattern paper and um, having it fit the page in my notebook. And then I will add a couple of stickers here. I love these stickers so much. By the way, I'm going to link um, everything or I'm going to talk about what kits I used in the Citrus Twist Kits blog post. So if you're wanting to know which kits all of these items come in, um, definitely check the blog post. I'll have them kind of written out there. But um, I went in with this little sticker pack and honestly on all of my pages I used these stickers so much. I ended up not having I think I had like two or three left by the time I finished my projects for this month. So I love that sticker sheet. It was so fun. And I just went in with this Citrus Twist exclusive, those little um, puffy stickers, and I spelled out us, and then I used one of the little heart embellishments. Just kind of playing around with some of the other stickers. And I'm going to end up adding a little house to the bottom left-hand corner. I just, I felt like I needed to add a little house. These are definitely my favorite pieces from the Maggie Holmes collection. I know all of her collections have, well, probably not all of them, but a lot of them I think have these little houses. And I just think they're so charming and I don't know, there's something very appealing about them to me. So I wanted to add that on there. And so it's down in the corner. And then I'm just gonna add a few little enamel dots to the right hand side just to give it some dimension and that will complete my page. So I hope that you enjoyed this process of me adding a lot of layers to my spread. And um, I hope that you will give this flip up photo a try if you haven't done this before. And um, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new to my channel. And I will see you again in the near future. Bye.